After the crazy numbers that I've been putting up, James Harden has finally noticed me, and yo, it's about time. If you guys are hyped for this, again, a big shout out to EA for flying me down to the studio so that I could capture some NBA Live 18 gameplay early for you guys. And if you want to see more of these, if you're enjoying these episodes, make sure you guys crush the like button and don't forget to subscribe. That helps me out a ton. Now, Nick Howard's kind of pointing out the little tweet that James Harden put out. I'm saying, look, I know this is crazy. We're about to go to LA to play, and we get a custom work loot crate for this. So let's see what's in the custom work loot crate. Hopefully something good. Okay, I got a tattoo, but it's a calf tattoo. I'm not really a calf tattoo type of guy. I'm going to show you guys how it looks regardless. This one kind of has like an eagle and an American flag, I think, on it, which is, you know, a pretty cool design. But again, I'm not a calf tattoo guy. Regardless of the tattoos in the game, I actually look pretty good. But enough of that. Let's jump into the gameplay. We're heading to the Drew League today where I have a squad. But let's see what James says. What's up, fellas? Nice win this summer. Hope you don't mind. I thought it was friends that by, you know, just to make it interesting. That's who. I mean, look, I get it. I know James Harden broke my ankles in real life, but dude, do you really have to stack your team with LeBron James, with Paul George, with Andre Drummond, with DeMar DeRozan? I mean, how many NBA superstars do you need? I mean, I have JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee might be one of the best players on my team right now. But you know what? I don't care. It's a new game. It's a new opportunity. We're in the Drew League. I'm going to put the team on my back, and I'm crossing over James Harden. I go with the floater, and we start the game off strong. Again, make sure you guys crush that like button. Let's get a 1,000 likes in this episode. What a move to start the game off. Now, James Harden's got the ball back. He throws one in, and yeah, James, I feel like you're a little nervous right now. You threw a bad pass. You have no one to blame but yourself there, but I'll take that turnover. The ball's kicked to me. I'm pulling one up in James's face, and I'm actually going to miss that one. We do have a 2-0 lead here early in the ball game. Look, James Harden has the ball back. Everyone's been waiting for this matchup. It's me versus James Harden. Good God, he just crossed my ankles up again. I can't let it happen again. I don't want to fall to the ground. LeBron James shoots a three, though. LeBron is going to get that one to fall, and his squad is out to a 3-2 lead. Now, we can't score an offense, so they get the ball back again. Paul George with the ball this time. Throws an alley-oop. That one goes to Andre Drummond with a nasty finish. But you know what? If you can do it, I can do it better. I throw it to JaVale McGee. That's right, NBA champion JaVale McGee. That seems a little bit weird to say right now. I'll go back to my crossover. I'm going to the middle of the time. I fold up a finger roll. That was not going to work, though. My rating drops down to a 69. James Harden is bringing the ball back up. I'm going to get back on defense. Look at this. Look at this. Shut down defense. James, really? You're going to try to copy me? I mean, I just do a nasty oop. And you want to come back and throw your own, and it goes nowhere. Yes, stare at the crowd all you need to. That was pretty horrible. And the Rosen's got it. He throws it into the paint. Looks like Drummond goes up, and he gets blocked. Kawhi Leonard's going to catch this one. Could he got up the court a little bit quicker? Probably so, but he's going to cross over a little bit. Get stopped by LeBron. Kick it into the paint, and we're going to get an easy dunk from Trevor Ariza. Yeah, Trevor Ariza is starting on my team. My team might be low-key trash. Now, Drummond throws up a prayer. This one is actually going to go in. I have no idea how it dropped, but we have an 8-7 to seven lead. I want to try to hold on to this cushion. I'm trying to cook James Harden here. I'm getting pads by him. I go up, and this one's going to be floated up and in again. My inside layup moves have been money. Now, my teammate Greed is low-key trash. James Harden just completely crawls me over there. I didn't touch the ground, though. I didn't touch the ground, but he gets that shot to fall. Tied up at 10. Now, I float one here. Andre Drummond's going to block that one. They get the ball back, and LeBron James is going to push the tempo a little bit. He pulls up for a fast break three. LeBron, what are you doing? You can't do those, LeBron. Kawhi gets the rebound. I kick it up to Trevor Ariza. Ariza's going to pull in Paul George's face, and that one is going to drop to give us a 13 to 10 lead. I'm happy that my team's playing. I know I made fun of Trevor Ariza earlier, but yo, the dude, he's actually playing pretty well. But I leave James Harden wide open, and he chokes. I mean, really, James, you're making my job way, way easier than what it should actually be. A good little crossover, but James Harden is actually playing good defense here. I'm going back to the middle. James Harden is there. I pull up for the mid-ranger and say, I don't care what your defense is, James Harden. I have the best jumper in the entire Drew League. Look how hyped your boy is right now. That jumper was absolutely money. You know, the 15-10 lead, Kawhi Leonard is going to step back. He moves to the left. He pulls up while he's moving, and that one is going to drop. Kawhi Leonard, his middle name might be clutch out here. What a shot by him. Now, Paul George takes a three as the shot clock winds down. I'm going to grab a rebound, kind of a rare opportunity for me, my first rebound in the game. We got an 18-10 lead again. Oh, my God. We just dropped James Harden. We just dropped James Harden. The payback is finally here. Again, look how nasty this move is. James, the earthquake finally hit him. He didn't touch the ground, but, yo, to be honest, I am perfectly happy with that. I dropped James Harden. I got my revenge. We're going to try and seal this deal with a 20-10 lead. Kawhi Leonard goes down, throws down a two-handed slam, and we're going to walk out of here with a much-needed W. Good to see you balling again. You have all the tools. Just keep working hard and play your game. I'll be watching you this year and get it for you in the NBA draft. You know, so James Harden comes in, says, you know, you got all the tools, keep working hard. But, I mean, James, I just crushed you in a game. I dropped you. I broke your ankles. In my opinion, we're even. We're tied up 1-1. I'm going to come back at some point in the future and get you again.
Stephen A., it is one thing to come back from a catastrophic knee injury. That's hard enough. But there is a consensus now, and I agree with it. Comeback kid is better now than he was before. I mean, he has come all the way back and then some. Well, I appreciate the intellect on your part because it's indisputable and why make a point that can be disputed. You're very, very wise not to do that, Max Kellerman. I'm very proud of you. But in the end, here's the bottom line. He's exceeded all expectations. He's going about doing the things the right way. He's expanded his skills in the pro-am. Everybody has noticed that's a very, very yeah. big deal. So I'm very happy about it, that. It is. So far be it for me to agree with you. But look, there were questions heading in. There were skeptics who had these questions, and I think at this point, it is safe to say that this is NBA ready. You know NBA ready when you see it, you saw it, this is NBA ready. He's got a mentor in James Harden now from what I'm hearing. Scouts and general managers in the NBA have been lauding his talents. They say that this kid is real, he's, re he's ready, he's legit. So when we look at it from that perspective, the next thing up is the NBA scouting combine. If he performs on that level, Obviously, that's a big deal. Now, we'll all be watching. We'll wait to see what happens. But guess what? We wouldn't be able to watch you if you weren't invited. So the fact that you were invited is a big deal and major props on for that. And we will be there. ESPN will be there from Chicago updating our live ESPN mock draft. It will be an interesting several days in the Windy City. So after performing extremely well in the Drew League, it looks like what's next up for me is going to be the NBA Combine, so I'm pretty hyped to this point. I have played so well, so well. I've got my dribbling increase a little bit. We're going to get Steph Curry's dribbling moves. So if you guys are hyped for another episode, if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you guys crush that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check the playlist that I got for you guys on the screen right now. And until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.